Since being isolated from Henrietta Lacks in 1952, HeLa cells have contributed to a huge range of scientific advancements across the globe. These advancements have included visualising how DNA is stored in cells, testing the effects of zero gravity and understanding how tuberculosis can cause disease. Importantly, HeLa cells have had a fundamental role in developing vaccines. One example is the HPV vaccine, which could have reduced the risk of Henrietta Lacks developing cervical cancer. Dr. Harold Zhu Hossan found that HeLa cells contain multiple copies of the STI HPV18. When inserted into healthy cells, HPV18 initiated the production of cancer causing proteins. Eventually, a vaccine against HPV18 was developed and introduced in 2006. This has reduced the occurrence of HPV18 in women aged 20 to 24 by two thirds. HeLa cells have also allowed scientists to better understand how cells work at a more fundamental level. One of these advances has come from understanding why HeLa cells are immortal in the first place. Every time a cell divides, the chromosomes in that cell, where DNA is stored, become shorter. Eventually, this causes the cell to die, meaning that there is only a limited number of times a cell can replicate. In HeLa cells, however, this doesn't happen, and scientists have discovered that HeLa cells contain an enzyme called telomerase, which prevents chromosomes from becoming shorter and allows the cells to continue replicating. It has been found that most cancer cells contain telomerase, which is normally inactive or at low levels in normal cell types. HeLa cells continue to be used in laboratories all over the world today. As we consider the many advancements they have enabled, it is important to note the immortal life of Henrietta Lacks tells, among other things, a story of social, economic and racial inequalities in research. While there is much work to be done on this front, researchers have taken steps to help prevent this happening in future and have advocated for informed consent and respect of participants as partners in the research process. Thank you.